Welcome back to the Collector's Channel where I give you my Lego investing opinion. This is for entertainment value only. It is not financial advice. Today we are looking at a set recommendation by Frederick Claus. It is a set that I have already bought several times and it's Ideas 21325 Medieval Blacksmith. A set that originally was $149.99 in the U.S. but was part of the August 2022 price increases where LEGO changed the price to $179.99 U.S. The set that I'm going to compare this to is 21310, the old fishing store. It has 2,049 pieces, a retail price of $149.99. It came out in September of 2017, and it retired in October of 2018. It had four minifigures. None of them go for more than about $5 each, so the minifigures did not drive the demand for this set. This set is very similar to the Medieval Blacksmith set. It is a unique idea submission that that collectors have coveted for their collection. This set is currently selling for a solid $500 on eBay. Now before you get all giddy about the $500 on eBay as the comparison set for the medieval blacksmith, we need to take a look at the current Lego environment. The old fishing store retired before the pandemic hit, so the number of Lego investors was quite a bit less, and the investment supply was a lot less. I'm one of the investors of the medieval blacksmith, and I realize there is quite a bit of hoarding on this set, but that is for good reason. The blacksmith set, in my opinion, is one of those castle type sets that nearly all castle fans will want to get their hands on. And I'm betting as more younger LEGO fans become adults, this is a set that they'll have on their must buy list as they get older and have more money to spend on LEGO. The 21325 Medieval Blacksmith set has 2,164 pieces and 4 minifigures. The first figure is the Archer and she goes for about $5. The second figure is the blacksmith, and he goes for about $5 to $7. The first Black Falcon Knight goes for about $7 to $10, and the second Black Falcon Knight also is in that $7 to $10 range at this time. These two figures should see a jump of about $3 to $5 within the first 12 months of retirement. This set was released in February of 2021, and is rumored to retire at the end of 2023. So we are most likely looking at the last 10 to 15 months before this set disappears from retail shelves. My prediction after one year of retirement, I see this set going to about $225. I don't see any profit in this set if you bought it at retail after one year of retirement. Profit if you bought this one at 20% off, $36. We are going to need at least 12 months to work through some of the excess retail and investor inventory before there is much profit on this set. In year two of retirement, I think we'll see a nice jump to $310. Profit if you bought this one at retail, $68. Profit if you bought this one 20% off, $104. My recommendation on this set is to try to get it around $150 or less. I did not buy any of these sets after LEGO raised their retail price from $150 to $180 in August of 2022. That $30 bump in price takes away an automatic $30 from your profit on this set. After three to five years of retirement, I think this one will hit that $400 level between years three and four and slowly move to around $450 once it gets closer to five years after retirement. Profit if you bought this one at retail, $140. Profit if you bought this one at 20% off, $176. This set looks like a can't miss, especially if you can get it at $150 or less. But because this set is being sold almost everywhere, and it being heavily invested in, it will not jump in price as fast as the old fishing store set. It will do well, just don't expect this one to hit $500 after 2-3 to three years after retirement. I don't think there's any risk in losing money on this set, but realize it's going to take some time to get the profit you are looking for. LEGO made this set readily available, and from what I've seen, it has almost been to the point of being overstocked. I've monitored this set on LEGO.com, even though it's currently on back order, LEGO is still allowing everyone to order 5 sets per customer. I think the supply is there to limit a jump in price shortly after retirement. I have about 10 of these sets and I'm ready to hunker down for the long term so I can get about $150 profit on each set. 
So that's my LEGO investing prediction on this set. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments on what you think about this set. If you have a set you'd like me to review, please drop that in the comments as well. There are many more videos on the way. Thanks for watching and keep building your LEGO empire.